Hello, today we're doing a basic introduction into adding numbers and I think it's very helpful to add numbers with a number line. And I went ahead and I drew a number line and with a number line you put zero in the middle and then your positive numbers go to the right and your negative numbers go to the left. I'm going to go ahead and let you have a gander at the number line so I'm going to get off camera shot for a second. That's a second. And I put some examples up here and hopefully you'll find it a lot easier to do these problems. Most of you can probably add and subtract numbers relatively easily, but it's always nice to give a picture, uh, something to work with. I remember when I was in elementary school and I was adding and subtracting numbers, when I was first doing that, I would count it on my fingers and I would use a number line to help me understand it in my mind, and then pretty soon it became second nature because I just kept practicing it. Well, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do that with examples that aren't considered too bad, but you use them on more difficult examples, and you just continually progress. And I would recommend that if you don't necessarily need a calculator to add and subtract, that you don't use one, because your mind is like a muscle, and the more you use it, the better it gets. So let's do our first example, where we have 3 plus 2 on this number line. So if we have 3 plus 2, we start at 3, and we add 2. And our answer is 5. Now some of you said, well I can do that number without a number line. Well that's great, you don't have to use a number line if you know how to add and subtract properly. But I'm just showing a pictorial representation of it. So hopefully for those of you whose adding and subtracting skills aren't as good as you want them to be, you can always remember to use something like this if the time ever arises. The next example I want to use is negative 3 plus 2. Now in order to do this problem, you start at negative 3, which is right here. And by the way, negative numbers are always to the left of 0, and positive numbers are always to the right of 0, and 0 is in the middle. So negative 3 starts right there, and if you're adding 2, well adding means you're going to the right, subtracting means you're going to the left. So you're adding 1, 2. So your answer is negative 1. Continuing along, this time we're going to start at 3, and we're going to add negative 2. And the best example I ever got of adding negative numbers that made sense is, well, if you're going to add cold, is the temperature going to get colder or warmer? Well, you start at 3 degrees, and you're going to add negative 2. So if you're adding negative 2, you're going to get colder than what you started with. So 3 is over here, and if you add negative 2, remember negatives go to the left, 1, 2, Your answer is 1. Now here we start with negative 3, and we're going to add negative 2. So we're going to make it even colder than negative 3. So how many spots do we move from negative, excuse me, how many spots do we move from negative 3? We move negative 2 spots to the left. So 1, 2. And your answer is negative 5. And hopefully you'll find this to be just mental math, but like I said, it's nice to see something in your mind. I decided to do one challenge example because students don't like fractions, so I thought that would be appropriate. And I have 1 divided by 2 plus 1 fourth. And there is no 1 over 2 in my number line, and there is no 1 over 4 in my number line. So what I usually tell my students to do, especially if they have problems with uh, numeracy issues, number sense, if they don't understand what something is off the top of their head, I tell them to turn a fraction into a decimal when it comes to adding or subtracting for them to get a better idea of it. You could also make the denominators the same, which is the second approach that I'm going to do. So 1 divided by 2 is the same thing as 0 0.5 plus 1 divided by 4 is the same thing as 0 0.25. I went ahead and did the division in my head. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. Now 0 0.75 is bigger than 0, but it's less than 1. And it's closer to 1 than it is to 0. You don't have to be perfect on the number line, but you should be approximately close to where you're supposed to be. So between 0 and 1, closer to 1, I would say a good guess for 0 0.75 is right there. The other way to do it, which I would probably recommend, especially if you're already used to fractions, is turning 
both fractions into a common denominator, or getting a common denominator in both fractions. Now, what number can you turn 2 into to, well, I suppose I should restate it like this. What is, a, what is the lowest multiple of 2 and 4? The answer is 4. They both go into 4. Now, how do I get a 2 to become a 4? What do I have to multiply it by? So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 fourth, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. And 3 divided by 4 is the same thing as 0 0.75. So either way you can do it. You can turn fractions into decimals and add them, or you can add fractions properly by getting the denominators to be the same. That's a brief overview on adding numbers. I hope that helped. Have a good day.